And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Red Bay basketball. Tonight, we're live in Sullivan, Alabama. We're at the Dome, home of the Blue Devils. And, of course, the Blue Devils will be dressed out in their white uniforms tonight. It'll be trimmed in blue. And, of course, the Red Bay Tigers on their uh, dark blue uniforms tonight. Got some orange in there trimmed up. And we're ready for some exciting Red Bay Tiger basketball. Hello, everybody. I'm Jack Ivey here live. Denise is back at Control Center. Uh, a few Tiger fans across the ways you might be able to see in your background. Some of them are at the concession stand after the JV boys uh, just knocked off. We had that on Facebook Live. No talking, just where you could kind of watch a little of it to keep up with it. But I um, want to welcome everybody into our broadcast here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, it's the Red Bay Tigers, and we're getting ready to take on the Sullivan Blue Devils. You're seeing, of course, the Red Bay Tigers down below. Uh, warming up, and uh, if you're on the broadcast tonight, make sure that you remind your friends and neighbors about the game uh, going to be on the air tonight. Once again, it's the Red Bay Tigers getting ready to take on the Sullivan Blue Devils. I want to say how much we appreciate uh, Coach Chisholm, the principal here, and of course he's been a basketball coach here for many years. Now he's been elevated up to the principal slot, and uh, we we'll appreciate him and his hospitality and all the coaches and administration here in Sullivan. They're always very nice to us, and we really do appreciate that, uh, Mr. Chisholm, and all the coaching staff here in Sullivan, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivey live once again for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. You got to do me a favor as some more folks uh, get online to enjoy the game tonight. You've got to uh, share this link with your friends. So if you'll do that here in just a little bit, we surely would appreciate it. Once again, it's the Red Bay Tigers getting ready to take on. The ball club from Sullivan, Alabama, here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Great, great sponsors tonight. We got Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, uh, Lori and Brent Collin. Also, we got uh, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barstale, Bunny Gray at Davis Realty, on our broadcast here tonight. We got Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry on our broadcast here tonight. Also, we got Greg Hamilton, your Superintendent of Education. We have got the Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Fabianchi. Also, the Cardinal Drive-In, Community Spirit Bank, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent by the Red Bay Hospital. Also on our broadcast tonight is Fastway Car Wash, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. By the way, the Fastway Car Wash, that's out on Highway 19, Miss Ann Vincent. Also, you got Dickey Spark CPA with six locations to serve you. Also on our broadcast tonight is Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They try to meet all your high-reach needs. Once again, they're located, of course, in Iuka, but they work Red Bay all the time. Once again, we're talking about Triple D Bucket Service, 662-279-7500. Also, Mr. Mike Engel at Engel Farms on our broadcast. I want to say hello to Brother Terry Paul Graham checking in with us out there. And Brother Terry Paul, we got to Regina Boyd out there. We've got Becky Lindley Nichols checking in with us. Uh, Tommy Crane out there. Uh, remember, uh, if you've just joined in, make sure you share this link with your friends so they can enjoy some Red Bay Tiger basketball here tonight. Red Bay getting ready to take on the ball club from Sullivan. We're about three minutes away from the starting lineup. Today's game brought to you by Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro. We also got Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling. Also want to say how much we appreciate uh, Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill Donna Weatherford, and also uh, Mr. Jackson Witt. He's a brand new pharmacist there in Red Bay and he works over in Belmont as well. You got Michelle McCorkle, Emily Evans, Missy Nichols, and also Katie Grisham. No more driving to Tupelo or Florence. If you're needing some of those uh, vitamin supplements, they got them in stock right now at your local Red Bay and Belmont Pharmacy. Appreciate the kind words there, Brother Terry Paul Graham. There's the Red Bay Tigers warming up down below. You see the Sullivan uh, Blue Devils warming up on the other end of the floor. We'll have a broadcast coming up in just a minute. The opposing side over there is uh, the Red Bay side. See, the, uh, today's game also brought to you by your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, at 128 North Jackson Avenue, 256-332-7924. Thank you, Mr. Mike Jones. Also, big shout-out today to Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company by Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, 331-0208. Miss Valerie Marr checking in with us. Thank you, Miss Valerie. Also, Miss Janice Collum checking in with us out there. Uh, Shay Sims checking in with us, and also Joey Robinson out there checking in with us uh, as well. Once again, this is WRM TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Like I say, it's an honor to have you on our broadcast here today. 
on WRMG. Today's game brought to you by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning. That's Kristen Valerie Marr, your authorized Freightliner and RV dealer. I also want to thank Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. Also, today's game, of course, brought to you by Med Express of Red Bay, nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys. Also on the broadcast here today is the Banner Tire Store on our broadcast. Also, McKinney RV, along with Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We're going to have the starting lineups coming up here in just a second. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Stay I tuned. We've got the starting lineups coming up. We'll have the starting lineups for the Red Bay Tigers first. Bow your hands and let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I like to thank you for this day. Dear Heavenly Father, I like to thank you for the many blessings you've given us. Just forgive us where we failed you. And thank you for letting Red Bay get safe travels here and all the fans get safe travels here. Just help um, Red Bay get safe travels back. Dear Lord, thank you for the entertainment you gave us today, dear Lord. Just help everybody play this game safe that they love, dear Lord. And just give these fans enjoyment and just bless everybody that had a hand in this game tonight, dear Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, who's ready for some soldiers in the middle of basketball? First, your red bay starting five. Number three, Destiny McCluster. McCluster. Number 14, Macy Faulkner. Number 22, Lila Blackburn. Number 23, Mallory Miller. Number 34, Reagan Keith. Cockendall. About ready to get this one underway from WRMG once again. We appreciate you joining us out there on WRMG. Live here in uh, Sullivan, Alabama on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate you being with us here today. And the tip is controlled 
by the Red Bay Tigers. Run away with 7.55 to go in the first quarter. Once again, an honor to have you on our broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. And the Tigers lose that ball out of bounds. And Sullivan will get it. So if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, appreciate you being with us. We had just a internet issue there that we had to take care of, but I think we are okay on the air back at WRMG. We didn't, that didn't affect us here on the Facebook Live. Now, the other end of the court, nothing happens there. The Tigers are going to get it back as uh, Sullivan loses it out of bounds. Welcome into our broadcast on Facebook Live and also TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey live here for WRMG. Denise is back at Control Center, and I think we may have our issue back there on our live audio broadcast. Now the Tigers turn it over again. Sullivan bringing that ball down the court, and we're ready to go. No score in the ball game. I'm Jack Ivey here for the Ivy Broadcasting Company, and Lila Blackburn is going to be charged with a foul by the official out there. Today's game brought to you by Redmond Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569. Also, Redmond Pharmacy with J.C. Weeks and the staff, and also Tri-State Insurance on our broadcast. Sullivan takes that ball in. The shot is up. It's no good. Blackburn... Um, First foul of the game for her, the first one against the Red Bay Tigers here early. Tigers taking it down to Kirkendall in there, and Kirkendall spins, and she's going to shoot, and it's no good, and a foul has been called. Today's game brought to you by Predator Pest Control, Clay and Ted Weatherford, also A.D. Deaton on our broadcast here today. Tigers going to send Kirkendall to the line. Her first free throw is up and good. This is Reagan Kirkendall. And the next shot by Reagan is up and good. She makes them both. So uh, we'll go the other way with the Sullivan at Blue Devils. Do me a favor, uh, you folks that are just getting online, like uh, Whitney Day, Hannah Stockton, some of those folks out there. We got Mr. Doug Lyles, Elizabeth Markham. The Tigers get a steal. And Kirkendall goes for the layup. It's up and good. And the Tigers have jumped out to a 4 to nothing lead. Make sure you share this link so more folks back at home can enjoy the broadcast that might want to see it and uh, might have a few folks down in uh, Lamar County that might want to be watching this game. Sullivan taking that ball inside. Tigers get a block. That might have been McAllister on that block all the way on the end of the court. Tigers push it up. Kirkendall to Faulkner. Now to Miller, top of the key. Miller shoots a three-point play. It's up and good, and Sullivan wants a timeout. So the Tigers jump out to a 7-0 lead on the road. Four quick points by uh, Reagan Kirkendall and a big three by Mallory Miller. And the Tigers are on top by a score of seven to nothing. We got 6.06 to go on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Hoping we're back on back there. If Denise, if you'll send us a little message here and let us know if we are okay now. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Appreciate you folks that have shared it. Sullivan after the timeout will take it in. They'll have to play it the length of the floor with 6.06 to go in the first quarter. Right now, the Red Bay Tigers leading it by a score of 7 to nothing. 7 to nothing is your score. Number 10 with the basketball out top with the basketball. Number four drives in, shot blocked out of bounds by Destiny McAllister there. And the shot up on the inbound up and no good. McAllister with a big rebound. And here we go the way, seven to nothing the score. Five minutes and 39 seconds to go. Faulkner back to Miller to the left side to Blackburn. Blackburn now the cross-court pass, and Faulkner will shoot the long three. It's up, it's over the backboard, and that ball will belong to Sullivan. So Sullivan will bring it down. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers with 5.23 to go, lead by a score of 7 to nothing. 
Glad to have Miss Elizabeth Markham out there and Doug Lyles checking in with us on Facebook Live tonight. Please share this link so your friends, uh, you've probably got different friends than I do or some different ones, and the Tigers got another steal thanks to Lila Blackburn. Long throw down to court to Miller. Miller finished this one. It's up. It's no good. Blackburn got a rebound. Back to Kirkendall. Kirkendall shot up no good. Well, we missed an opportunity there. Seven to nothing the score. The Tigers will hurry back on defense. After a great defensive play, we just couldn't finish on this end of the floor. Red Bay in the dark uniforms. Sullivan in the white. Sullivan has them all stolen away. McCollister's got it. McCollister does the smart thing. She pulls up her dribble and waits on the guard and gave it off to her and goes and gets in her spot and she's ready to do something inside down low. She's over in the corner right now. Faulkner back out to Miller. Miller's at the top of the key being guarded out there pretty closely at the top of the key. Works that ball right side to Blackburn. Seven to nothing Red Bay into Kirkendall. Kirkendall kicking it out to Faulkner. Miller thought about a three pointer. Now going inside the pass to McCollister is too high and out of bounds and the Tigers will turn it over. So Sullivan will take it in and bring it down the court, trailing seven to nothing at the four minute mark. Sullivan number 10. Over to number two, that's Johnson. Ten handling the ball out there is Jayla Evans. Evans being guarded there by Kirkendall. Kirkendall goes around, ball kicked off to the right side. McAllister, another block for the Red Bay Tigers at the 341 mark. On the inbounds, shot up again, McAllister blocked it. Another shot up, and finally, the basket in for double zero. That is Wheeler getting the basket. That'll make it a seven to two ball game. Red Bay with the basketball, working that ball right side, Lila Blackburn, now to the left side to Miller. Miller shoots the long three, bank no good. Rebound tipped around in there, and Wheeler's got it for the ball club from Sullivan. Over to 10, 10 goes to the left, it's up and good. 10 is Jayla Evans getting that basket, and the Tigers' 7-4 lead is now 7-4 with 3.05 to go. Really great sponsors, of course, making this game possible here tonight. And we got a whistle, and they're going to get the Tigers with an offensive moving screen, apparently. Cassidy will check into the ball game. That's Cassidy Kirk and all McAllister will check out. They didn't put up the foul number. I was expecting them to put it up there. Maybe they'll put it up here in a minute. Seven to four, the score. Sullivan taking that ball down to low to number one. Her shot is up no good. She's foul. And she'll go to the line to shoot. Appreciate uh, Kayla Moses Harden out there checking in with us. Andy Deaton, thank you for sharing there. Chris Faulkner out there. Sounds good back in Red Bay. Chantel Nichols. Amanda Ledbetter, Tori Lude, Dr. Stephen Ray, Patricia Cole out there, Denise Ivy watching, Amy Scott McKinney. Looking at uh, sounding good on location and on the computer too. There's uh, Dr. Stephen Ray across the way. He's actually in attendance at the game and watching it in the stands on Facebook Live. 2.44 to go, 7.55 to go. The free throw is up, it is no good. So they get one out of two. It's now a two point ball game as the Red Bay Tigers will bring it down. We're 2.36 to go in the first quarter. Tigers turn it over again. Miller's pass trying to go inside, and the Tigers couldn't handle the pass. I don't know if it was too high or not, but uh, a turnover against the Tigers. There's Mr. Paul Huffman checking in with us. Thank you, Mr. Paul. 75 the score, number 10 drives in. Nobody picks her up, she lays it up. We lucky she missed the layup and I believe they're gonna be a foul against Sullivan on the rebound as number 10 Evans took that ball to the hoop. So the Tigers will get it. Two team fouls against Sullivan, three against Red Bay early. 
And here come the Red Bay Tigers. Faulkner with that ball on the left side. She's wide open. I don't know why Miss Macy didn't shoot that ball. She we're gonna get her shooting that ball more. Now she's open for the three. She'll shoot it, and it's up and no good. Rebound goes to Sullivan down below. And Sullivan, who trails by two, seven to five, will move the ball down the court. They work that ball left side. Now down to number one, who will kick it out. Hollis is number one. Now the long shot. No good. Now it's ball loose on the floor, and we're going to have a jump. And the error pointing in favor of the Sullivan Blue Devils. Head coach is Kalen Northington here. Of course, the Red Bay Tigers coach. Coach Holly Kirkendall taking a lot of time to get it in. They finally do. The Tigers with Markham into the ball game. Told you about Cassidy Kirkendall checking in. Tigers have checked out McAllister earlier and uh, Leif Faulkner checked out. No, Faulkner's still in there. I'm trying to think who else is out. We'll check for you here in a minute. Faulkner on the left wing. With a minute 18 to go, she'll dribble up it high post to Reagan over to Cassidy. Cassidy, a little baseline jumper is no good. Rebound goes to the ball club from Sullivan, Alabama. Sullivan taking the ball inside, number four with the basketball. And I believe she's going to lose it out of bounds. That's Anna Sandlin, and Red Bay's going to get it back at the one minute mark. Today's game brought to you by Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, also Albin Mason Construction Company. Don't forget, to, they now have got a track hoe doing excavation work. Call Albin, 662-460-3355. Uh, Once again, that's Mason Construction Company. Tigers down low, the shot up by Kirkendall, and they're going to count that basket, and she is fouled. Good job by Cassidy down there. Let me give you the number one time for Alvin, 662-660-3355. Don't forget they build homes, do a lot of remodeling, roofing additions, wonderful work. Explore liquidations in the Belmont Industrial Park. Jada Pitt, your manager, Mike Stockton, your president there. 50 to 75% off every day is what you get in Belmont at Explore Liquidation. So Cassidy Kirkendall gets the free throw after the two-point shot, so she's got three points in the game, and the Tigers lead by a score of 10 to 5. And now number 13 trying to take a pass from number 2. 13 is uh, Jamia Swanigan, uh, Swanigan. Couldn't handle that pass there from Johnson, and the ball went out of bounds, and the Red Bay Tigers will get it back with 36 seconds to go. Hopefully we're good wherever you're at tonight. If you're listening on radio, listening on television, maybe you're watching on a TV replay, or maybe you're watching on live on Facebook. We appreciate you very much. And boy, there's a nice move to the basket by the Tigers by Reagan Kirkendall. Reagan makes the score 12 to five Red Bay. 12 to five Red Bay, 14 seconds to go. Number 10 with the basketball is Jayla Evans. Down to eight seconds. Jayla drives all the way in, a little baseline jumper, no good. The putback again, no good. This time the Tigers come out of there with it, and that will be the end of the first quarter. Miss Patricia Cole said it looks and sounds good. Go Tigers tonight. Ms. Cole, make sure you share this link with your friends uh, so more and more folks will be able to get online and watch this game tonight. We're live in Sullivan, Alabama, and once again, uh, thankful that the Internet's not too bad in here tonight, that we're able to send this back to the folks that uh, – uh, couldn't get to the game tonight. We're live on WRMG, brought to you by Kim Lindsay. It's so cute for you. She does all your screen printing and monogramming. She can get a monogram screen print just about anything. If it can be done, she can do it. And she really appreciates your business. Contact her on Facebook or 256-668-0142. Uh, she does all types of monogramming and screen printing. Also, Chuck and Barbara and all the staff at Cash and Thermal Plastics the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council by Big Star, Hal Keaton and the staff, by Franklin Electric, by H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton, by CBNS Bank, with Miss Mary Ellen Allen and the staff, by Grace Long Real Estate, by the Red Bay Gas and Water Department. Don't forget to call before you dig at 356-8622. Also on a broadcast today is Sunshine Mills, makers of that great cat food and dog food, by Piggly Wiggly of Red Bay, Bell, Iuka. Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent at 662-423-8477. By Red Bay Reynolds on our broadcast. Raven McVeigh checking in with us. Make sure, Raven, you uh, share this link with your friends. 12 to 5, Red Bay is on top. We're live in Sullivan. High post, Reagan Kirkendall. 
Kicking it to the right side, Faulkner. She'll penetrate a little bit, pulls up jump shot. It's too long. Rebound goes to Wheeler of Sullivan. Sullivan, she'll take it to the right side. Now back it out. Looking for help. She finally gets it off to a teammate to slide that baseline. And the Tigers, Cassidy Kirkendall has got a steal over there. And here come the Red Bay Tigers leading by a score of 12 to 5. 12 to 5, your score. Red Bay Tiger basketball is a production of Ivy Broadcasting Company brought to you by Red Bay Reynolds. Thank you, Johnny Weatherford. 256-668-0039. Reagan trying to kick that ball out. Now to Miller, top of the key. Miller's shot is up. It is no good. The ball's going to get out of bounds. It is going to the team in white. That is, of course, the Sullivan Lady Blue Devils. Red Bay Tigers lead by a score of 12 to 5. Sullivan about to bring this ball down the court. Thanks to you folks that are watching on our Facebook Live app tonight. We will not have a broadcast from Carver Heights on Thursday night. We will have the Belmont and Red Bay game Friday and the Red Bay Addison game on Saturday. Here come the Red Bay Tigers pushing it up the floor. Reagan Kirkendall for the layup. It's no good. The follow up is no good and a foul against Sullivan. They're going to get number 13 with a foul. Jamia Swanigan is going to be charged with a foul. And the free throw is up and no good by the Tigers. At the line is Kaylee Markham. Kaylee shooting two here. And the next free throw by Markham is up and good. So the score 13 to 5 with 6.40 to go. Sullivan working that ball to the right side. I believe that's Wheeler over there. Back out top of the key to Gilmore. She wears number 21. She's got the ball. And the Tigers just got a steal. Reagan Kirkendall got it. Kirkendall down to Faulkner. Faulkner for the layup. It's up and good. And it looks like Sullivan wants another timeout. Sullivan wants a timeout. I'm Jack Ivey live. Didn't mean to scare you there. We're live in Sullivan, Alabama. We got 6.16 to go. And right now, sitting in the second quarter, we don't forget we got boys game coming up in just a second. Right now, the Red Bay Tigers, of course, winning 15 to five over the ball club from Sullivan. We're in kind of the corner of the gym. The, of course, this brand new dome that they opened up, and we got a pretty good. Uh, we're not in center court uh, video, but we're down in the corner. But we're actually, a pretty good place to video here. We're kind of away from everybody. It's kind of hard to get up here sometimes through the stands with the kiddos. But uh, once you get up here, it's good. I'm going to send you back to court side and. Red Bay Tiger and Sullivan basketball. Red Bay leads 15 to five, the score. Today's game brought to you by Swamp Johns. Uh, don't forget to catering as well, 356-2300. Franklin County Proba Judge Barry Moore on our broadcast. Sullivan brings it down. Also Michael Stone at Stone's Handyman Service on our broadcast. Remodeling, siding, roofing, painting, and much, much more. Folks, you can't beat old Michael Stone. He'll do what the other folks may want to turn down and turn their nose up at. He doesn't do that, I can assure you that. He wants your business. Michael Stone at Stone's Handyman Service. You'll give me a second, I'll give you that number as the Tigers commit a foul on the other end of the court. Stone's Handyman Service, 256-668-0224. Also, big shout out today to BJ's Hair Necessities. That's BJ Rod Walters. You can call BJ, 662-676-4445. And also, Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook, by Silver Dollar Grocery down in Golden, by Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay. By the way, if you tell them you heard this ad on WRMG, 20% off your purchase. So if you need anything from Consider the Lilies, right now is the time to do it. Because if you tell them you heard it right here, you can get 20% off. 15 to 6 is that free throw is good by Sullivan. They'll have another one coming. Gets up no good. Rebound this time goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Mallory Miller. Miller one on one, spins left, puts it up. It's no good. She's foul, and she'll go to the line to shoot. Good shot there of the Red Bay Tigers, Mallory Miller. And 
And the free throw good again, makes it 17 to six as Miller gets the free throws for the Tigers. 5.45 to go, live in Sullivan, Alabama. Boys game coming up after this one here. Sullivan tries to take that ball inside. We almost tied her up. Now the ball loose on the floor. Number two comes out of there with it. That's uh, uh, Shania Johnson. Shania drives in, shot is up, and there's gonna be a whistle and a foul holding against the Red Bay Tigers. They're going to get, I believe, Faulkner on that one. Double zero checking back in. That's uh, Laura Lee Wheeler. Appreciate Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale. Also want to thank Brent and Lori Collum at 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse down in the big city of Red Bay. What great food they have. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. And, well, they have something Special, got a, a lot of new menu items available now. Do a lot of catering, of course, all the time. Right now for the holidays, boy, you better get your order in if you want it because uh, they're booking up in a hurry. Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, Red Bay, Alabama. Lauren Brent, thank you. Driving up, uh, lobbing that ball inside. The Tigers almost got a steal. We're down to the 459 mark. Sullivan drives down to the baseline. Now goes back to one. She's open. She puts it up. No good. She's foul. And she'll go to the line to shoot. That's Natalie Hollis going to go to the line. They're not putting the fouls up, so. That was against Cassidy Kirkendall. She'll check out of the ball game and McAllister will check in. Kelby Hallmark checking in with us, Kelby. Do me a favor, share this link. And the free throw is up good. By number one, that's Laura Wheeler. And right now the Red Bay Tigers sitting on a 10 point lead with 4.46 to go. And we're in the second quarter live from Sullivan, Alabama. Tigers into McAllister. McAllister works, puts it up off the glass, no good. She's foul by double zero. So she'll go to the line to shoot. Today's game brought to you by Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry across the way, located on the Golden Road business hours Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. They've been practicing since 1993. Staff members are Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Candice. Thank you so much. 356 88 99. Free throw by McAllister is good. Also, big shout out today to Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Doing a great job. And that next free throw good. And also, Dr. Fabiunk and his staff at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. Thank you, Dr. Fabiunk. 19 Red Bay, 7 for the Sullivan Blue Devils. If my memory is correct, uh, I'll look at it right quick. Sullivan, I think, is very young. Uh, on the floor, they don't have anybody over a 10th grader. They're going to be okay down the road, just very, very young right now. And the Red Bay Tigers will shoot a three left side. It's up and good. Reagan Kirkendall makes it 22-7 to Red Bay. There's Miss Jade Hallmark checking in. Jade, I don't know where Kelby knows how to share this tonight. Thank you, Jayla, for driving the ball. But... Maybe you could show him how to share it, and both of you share this link. Number 10, driving that ball in, is Jayla Evans, and she's going to draw a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. 16 fouls against uh, Sullivan, seven against Red Bay. Three minutes and 58 seconds to go. The free throw is up. It is no good. And that free throw is good. That'll make it 22 to eight. 22 to eight, the score. We've got the Red Bay Tigers, 22, Sullivan eight. Tigers left side down to the baseline. Miller at the top of the key. We got that ball down to Markham in the corner. She's open, now she'll shoot it. It's up, it is no good. Rebound running it down, ball knocked out of bounds. It will belong to uh, the ball club from Sullivan. There's old Brad Bolton checking in with us back at Red Bay. 22 to eight, our score. The Red Bay Tigers are on top of Sullivan. We're live tonight, not only on TV and uh, 
Well, you can listen to the game everywhere from the radio, a couple of radio stations, and listen to it on TV 12, and also WRMGradio.com, but also a separate broadcast here on Facebook Live. Now, this is not the same broadcast you'll see on Channel 12 or, or not the same broadcast that you'll see on YouTube, which is much better uh, quality than this, but hopefully it's still watchable back there. And we got a whistle, and it looks like another foul against the Tigers with 3.07 to go. Going to the line to be number one, that's Wheeler. And the free throw no good. Wheeler, uh, not Wheeler, but uh, her teammate got a rebound, but the Tigers swiped it. Faulkner, Miller, the Miller, the long shot. It's an air ball, no good. Running that ball down. It's going to get out of bounds. It's going to Sullivan. There's old Stanley and Jackie Criddle checking in with us. So Sullivan will bring it down right now, trailing 22 to eight with two minutes and 47 seconds to go. And now they lose the ball. Teammate picked it up, uh, number 14. Now she loses it, and they'll bring it back out and reset it up. 14 is Amaya Johnson into the ball game. Now the Tigers got a steal. Markham got that one. Good job of Markham. Miller works that ball left side. Kirkendall thought about a three. She hit one just a little bit ago. Now she will shoot to three. It's up and no good. It rattled the rim. McCollister got it, tried to go back up with it. She's fouled. She's going to go to the line to shoot. And Sullivan it down the floor. The ball stolen away. 22 to 8 after Tigers missed the free throw down here. Sullivan goes down, turns it over. We come back this way in a foul against the ball club from Sullivan. Red Bay leads 22 8 with a minute and 54 seconds to go. Red Bay makes the free throw with Blackburn. She'll have another one coming, draws a lot of iron, and it falls in good. So Sullivan pushing it up. Red Bay leads 24-9 on WRMG. We're live tonight in Sullivan. Well, McAllister's done a really good job, and now they're going to tie it up, the Tigers do. Tigers have done a really good job of defense inside. McAllister blocking shots in there. Red Bay 24 to 8. They're pointing in favor of the Sullivan Blue Devils. They'll take it in. Number 14 drives in. Shot blocked again by McAllister. I just got to keep Destiny out of foul trouble. Sometimes you have know, a tendency to kind of slap at it instead of just getting your hands up. She's done a good job tonight of not drawing those fouls. Boy, a great move of the basket, even though she missed it. Markham runs it down. Kirkendall missed an easy one in there. Reagan, so the Tigers have got it back. Hilda Roberts checking in with us, Hilda and Johnny. And the layup by Kirkendall is up and good for the Red Bay Tigers. That's Reagan getting another big basket for Red Bay. She'll go to the line to shoot. She has got one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think twelve points a game unofficially. That free throw is up. No good. Rebound. Solidjit's got it. And we're heading to the other end of the floor. 
Today's game brought to you by the Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road in Red Bay. Driving down, a little running shot. It's up and good. By number 21, that's uh, Kylie Gilmore. Tigers go to the corner. Now taking that ball down to McAllister. McAllister off the glass, in and out, no good. Good move to the basket there by McAllister. 23 seconds to go. Red Bay, a 16-point lead. Today's game brought to you by Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. Also want to thank Community Spirit Bank, your hometown bank with hometown solutions going back to all the way to 1908. See Brad and all the great staff at Community Spirit Bank in Red Bay. A couple of locations there. You got Belmont, you got Vina, and Russellville, Alabama. Red Bay goes right side of Blackburn. Cross court pass to Markham. Markham back to McAllister. She'll shoot a jump shot. It's up at the buzzer. No good. And we have played one half of basketball. It is the Red Bay Tigers right now leading 26 to 10. 26 to 10 is your score. Today's game, of course, brought to you by the Red Bay Hospital, taking care of your friends and family close to home. You got, a, of course, inpatient, outpatient, uh, transitional care, outpatient surgery clinic, also uh, lab and tech radiology services. Also community education program, all, all rooms are private, free Wi-Fi, of course. Board certified physicians got you covered 24 hours a day. There's your cheerleaders there for all you folks watching down in Sullivan, Alabama. On this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company Facebook Live broadcast. Zach Pounder is checking in. Thank you, Miss Evelyn Williams and Mac out there. Fastway Car Wash on a broadcast. Miss Ann Vincent along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont by Dickey Sparks CPA. Don't forget a free electronic filing on all your income tax returns. Individual and business income, tax preparation, monthly bookkeeping, payroll services, also payroll processing, trucker fuel reports, much more. Dickey Sparks CPA, once again, six locations, Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth, Mississippi. Some Red Bay Tiger fans, I don't know where you can make them out across the way. Appreciate Triple D's bucket service as Red Bay leads 26 to 10 at halftime. Once again, I'm Mike Engel at Engel Farms on a broadcast show tonight. If you need chicken litter hauled or spread, call Mike, 256-668-0775. Also, Tiffin Motorhomes on our broadcast. Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling by Red Bay Pharmacy. By your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. By Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. By Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing, he does it all. Dr. Rick 301 Jackson Avenue, 3310208. By Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning. Redmont Heating and Cooling. By the way, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, they're watching tonight. Chris and Valerie Marr, they are your authorized Freightliner and RV dealer. We're going to take a little break. Once again, this is Red Bay Tiger Basketball. We're in Sullivan tonight. And right now, the Sullivan Blue Devils and the Red Bay Girls are playing. And the Red Bay Girls, right now, leading in the ball game. Uh, by a score of 26 to 10. We'll put that school board back up there so you'll know when the second half is coming up. There's a Mr. Johnny and Miss Martha Cleveland checking in with us out there. I know Miss Martha will share this link so your other friends can enjoy the game tonight. Once again, this is Red Bay and Sullivan. The score at halftime, Red Bay girls 26, Sullivan 10. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. About ready to start the second half action here on WRMG Jack Ivy here live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Got brother Steve Lindsay, he's joined in on the broadcast. Uh, Miss Tracy Gordon has checked in. Mr. Ernestine Harrison, also our friends out at Redmont Skate Land. Miss Holly Louie, told you about Mr. Johnny Cleveland. Great job, Miss Valerie Marr says that. Sounds good in Red Bay, Miss Martha Cleveland. Miss Evelyn and Mac Williams, I told you, is out there. So do me a favor if you've not shared it, uh, share this link. Red Bay girls playing very good here in the first half. Leading right now in the third quarter, 26 to 10. 26 to 10 the score. And I don't know what the official is talking to the young lady down below. Hopefully everything's okay. And Seligit bringing it down. Well, the basketball, number 10, that's Evans. Evans goes inside, number two, good penetration for her. Uh, that's uh, Johnson, and now we got a whistle. 
and a jump error pointing in favor of the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay 26 to 10. Double zero, Wheeler will inbound the ball for Sullivan. Don't forget you'll be able to watch this game later, late, late, late tonight on channel 12 and channel 97. By the time you get up in the morning, it'll be on YouTube. Of course, you can watch it again on Facebook just a little bit after the game. But thanks to all of our sponsors who make these games possible. Sullivan on the inbound, number four, shot up no good. And a foul, I believe they, unless somebody reached in, they're gonna give it to McAllister. So McAllister is gonna be charged with a foul. There's uh, Miss Eva Kirk, Brother Ray out there checking in. Kelly Oliver Scott checking in with us on Facebook Live tonight. Free throw no good. This is number four, Anna Sandlin. And we'll have another shot coming. It is up, it is no good. McAllister with a rebound. She has played a really good game tonight. Hadn't scored a lot of points, but you don't have to score a lot of points to play a good game. A lot of block shots, a lot of rebounds. Kirkendall's got a lot of the scoring here, but uh, and the Tigers, Markham, tried to force that ball in there and it was almost turned over. Boy, she went after it in a hurry and able to tie that ball back up to at least get possession back to so a good job by Mark him to do that. Miller open in the corner for the long shot. It's up, it is no good. Ethan Ray checking in with us. So the ball will belong to Sullivan with six. 56 to go. They'll penetrate toward the basket, lose it. The Bay Tigers, Reagan Kirkendall got it out to Miller. Miller pushing it up floor for the Tigers. Miller to the right side. There's old Brandon Coburn checking in with us. And now the Red Bay Tigers want a 30 second timeout. So Coach Holly Kirkendall wanting a uh, little time out here. Right now the Red Bay Tigers lead by a score of 26 to 10, 26 to 10. Oh, Landon Lewis says go Tigers out there tonight. Today's game brought to you by Med Express of Red Bay. Your nurse practitioner is Kayla Humphreys, the Banner Tire Store. That's old Jason Parker down on the Fairview Banner Road. You can give uh, Jason a call down there, 662-676-2177. He'll do his best to sell you a set of tires at different prices, whatever you need. Long shot by Miller after she made a good play over there. No good. The putback, no good. Now coming out of there with it's Markham. To Reagan Kirkendall, Reagan right side, Markham. Markham thought about it. And Mallory Miller with the ball out at the top of the key. Markham into the game here on the left side for Faulkner. And there's Miller, another good move to the basket, and she is going to be fouled. Number four, Anna Sandlin is going to be charged with a foul, and Miller will go to the line to shoot. There's old coach Sonny Glasgow checking in. 26 Red Bay, 10 for Seligen. Miller's free throw is up and good. Big shout out today to Theron McKinney and all the staff at McKinney RV serving the Red Bay area for many, many years. Told you about old Patrick Brooks at Redmond Heating and Cooling. What about Redmond Pharmacy? J.C. Weeks and the staff. Also want to thank Tristate Insurance, Kim and Calum Wells on a broadcast. That free throw was good as well for the Red Bay Tigers. So good job by Miller to get a couple of points here. Overall, pretty good internet. We've uh, it kind of lost its signal there a couple of times. So if it freezes on you for a second, don't panic. You might sometimes you might get out and get right back in, but Right now, it seems to be going pretty good. We're up 28 to 10. There's Miller. 
Miller losing the basketball. And here comes Sullivan. They missed the layup. Rebound goes to the Tigers, and uh, Miller didn't come all the way down to the court. She uh, puts a shot up. I can't believe she missed that. Come on, Mallory. Mallory didn't get herself even in position to make that one. She kind of shot it kind of funny. Shot is up, but Sullivan, they might have got away with a walk. Macy Faulkner getting ready to check back into the ball game for the Tigers. And she will check in for Mallory. Sullivan will take it in, trailing by 18, 28 to 10. 5.04 to go, driving to the lane, shot up no good. McAllister with another big rebound for the Red Bay Tigers. Coach Glasgow refereeing over in Belgreen tonight. He's in between games, checking out the Red Bay Tigers. Coach, we got a 28 to 10 lead. Faulkner drives all the way in, lost it, able to get it, put it up, it's blocked. Uh, the Tigers McAllister got it. She shoots and it's blocked. And she is gonna be fouled and will go to the line to shoot. Coach, before you get off here, make sure you share this link with your friends out there. So more and more people can get on and watch us live as we are in Sulget live tonight. McAllister will shoot here. Free throw is up good. Number 14 will check into the ball game. Amaya Johnson, double zero Wheeler will check out. Wheeler's a ninth grader. Johnson's an eighth grader. This is mainly ninth and 10th graders and some eighth graders sprinkled in there as well. Nobody over a 10th grade slot for this young Sullivan ball club. But Collister made them both. She puts the Red Bay Tigers up by a score of 30 to 10. 30 to 10 is the score. Lobbing the ball inside, number one. Tries to shoot it, it's no good. Kirkendall comes out of there with a rebound and she is gonna be foul. They're gonna probably get a holding on uh, Natalie Hollis. She's a 10th grader. Red Bay with Faulkner, Kirkendall. Markham, Lila Blackburn, and McAllister out there. Don't forget Red Bay and uh, Carbert Heights. Thursday night at Carbert Heights. It'll be Belmont and Red Bay in Red Bay. Four games on Thursday. I think they start at 4 o'clock. Tigers into McAllister. Her shot no good. Got a rebound again. It's no good. And on the inside, this time the rebound goes to Selgic. There's old Frankie Smith checking in. Also Miss Lisa Stafford Tiernan checking in with us. Red Bay Tigers leading 30 to 10 with 3.48 to go in the third quarter. Driving it down the middle of the lane, they're gonna get McAllister with a foul. Miss Cindy Pounder is checking in with us. Thank you, Miss Cindy. 30 to 10, I know Miss Cindy's got a lot of friends on there. Dean Hubbard's got a lot of friends. Megan, Kathleen Gray, all you folks share this link and follow us here. There's old Johnny Stockton now. Johnny was listening earlier, I think. Now, him and uh, Johnny Mary Joe are watching from South Tilla, looking good, Red Bay. 30 to 10, the score. Shot no good from the free throw line. Lila Blackburn got that rebound for Red Bay. And Red Bay Tigers are heading down to the other end of court. Dean Hubbard said, looking good, Jack Ivy Live. Dean, you better share this thing now. 30 to 10, Tigers back door to Markham. Markham shot is up good. Red Bay 32 to 10 with three minutes and 18 seconds to go. We're live on WIMG TV 12 and also television 97. 3.07 to go. And Phil Cow, Phil Cow. Sullivan loses it, almost out of bounds. They save it, but the Red Bay Tigers get it. Here's Markham bringing it down, not Markham, but uh, Faulkner bringing it down. She goes over to Lila Blackburn. Now back to Kirkendall. Got Markham over here on the left side. And now inside, Kirkendall's shot is up no good. She is fouled, and she over the line to shoot. You can see the score right up in the top there. 
2.45 to go, third quarter, Red Bay 32 to 10. We're getting more and more folks uh, watching us tonight. And thank you for being out there. Kirkendall's free throw is up good. She has got uh, unofficially now 13 in the game. And the next free throw is up. It is good. That's Kirkendall 14th point unofficially. She's got uh, 14 out of the 34. And here comes Seligit trailing by 34 to 10. Seligit inside, number one. Great move to the basket. Just couldn't finish. And she, I believe, is went down pretty hard on the floor there. She appears to be injured. Hopefully everything's okay for Natalie Hollis. So they're going to check on Natalie. Coach is coming out to check on her. There's old Randy Elliott checking in with us. Thank you, Randy. Live coverage here of Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate Denise back at Control Center. And sometimes we get in these crazy situations out here where this cell signal may not be that good. And sometimes it's better than others, you know what I mean? But the Ivy woman has got us on the air and keeping us on the air back at Control Center. She will check out of the ball game. I think she's going to be okay. But, uh, they're going to go down and check her out. McAllister will check out of the ball game. Cassidy Kirkendall will check in. Jayla Evans, first free throw, no good. She'll have another one coming here. And the free throw is up. It is no good. Lila Blackburn with a rebound for the Red Bay Tigers. Markham on the left side, looking for Faulkner. Now they go back door, and the pass by Kirkendall is not deep enough, and the ball stolen away. Thank you, Chris Faulkner, for checking in with us here on WRMG. A little baseline jumper up and no good. The world famous Macy Faulkner with the rebound. That'd make Miss Dolly Robinson happy if she was still with us. That's uh, Macy's grandmother. And the shot inside, Kirkendall no good. We're down to a minute and 51 seconds. Long throw down the court. Going to be too long and out of bounds. Red Bay will get it. Faulkner will check out of the ball game. Miller will check in at a 146 mark. We're in the dome in Sullivan, Alabama. This facility doubles as a storm shelter. All chair back seating. Tigers take it inside Kirkendall and she tried to split the defenders and did. And uh, she's fouled. Once again, with a minute and 30 showing on the clock, the Red Bay Tigers lead 34 to 10, and Kirkendall's free throw is no good. She'll have another one coming. It is no good as well. But a violation, and it's against Red Bay, so Solidget will play it on the side. Sullivan with the basketball with a minute 13, driving the baseline, shot is up good. Number two, Shania Johnson got that one.
That'll make it 34 to 12 with 58 seconds to go. Hester into the ball game number 15 for the Red Bay Tigers. She goes back door and we do the same thing again and not deep enough from Kirkenall. Good play, but you got to get it over the defender's head and get it in your man's head. And we've turned it over two times in a row trying to do that play. It's kind of one of them, uh, if it's not there, you don't pass it and keep the play going. And now another foul on this end of the floor. They're not putting the fouls up, so I'm not for sure who got that one. Free throw is up and no good. By Sullivan, number four at the line is Anna Sandlin. Kirkendall will check out of the ball game and checking in for the Tigers will be Macy Faulkner. And this free throw is up and good. Red Bay 34, 13 for the Sullivan Blue Devils. We're in the third quarter. Live coverage here by some really, really great sponsors making this game possible tonight, including Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Miss Brenda Purser, of course, down in Red Bay, Alabama. Call her at 356-4804. Don't forget, when you become a customer of ours, you become family at Tri-State Insurance. Give them a chance to earn your business. Phil Campbell down the court. They should have a layup, and they do. That'll make it 34-13, to 13, and them coach getting a timeout with eight seconds to go. I don't know if she realized there was just eight seconds to go or what, but uh, she does get a timeout with eight seconds to go. Red Bay now with three timeouts left. Sullivan with three timeouts. Today's game brought to you by Predator Pest Control. Don't forget for all your pest control needs, we take the care out of your termite problems. 20 years experience plus. And you got Clay Weatherford. Ted Weatherford and Eddie Deaton. Call Eddie, 662-315-2841. Flag him down, say, Eddie, I've got some bug issues I need some help with, and I promise you, Eddie will take care of it. Thank you, Miss Valerie Marr, for checking in back with us. Red Bay will have it. With seven seconds to go, there's Miller with it. Miller to Faulkner. And now the Tigers, after the timeout, didn't even get a shot off. And it's 34 to 15 at the end of the third quarter. There's Doug Lyles checking in with us. Got Coach Dale Jeffries. Coach, there you see the score. The Red Bay ladies lead 34 to 15 over the, the ball club from Sullivan, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast here tonight. Not only on our normal TV 12, TV 97 broadcast, but on Facebook Live tonight. As you know, if you watch it on TV or watch it on YouTube, this is a uh, not as good a video broadcast as it is when we you look at it on TV. But uh, but a lot of folks enjoy seeing it, and if we've got enough availability of internet, we'll try to do that again for you some. We did it over at Phil Campbell the other night. Did it at Hatton. And we'll probably do it Friday night as well if everything goes good. Appreciate Albin Mason Construction Company. Don't forget for quality construction you can count on and be proud of. And a reliable company, you need to call Albin Mason, 662-660-3355. We'll be on new homes, do a lot of remodeling, roofing, inside and out. We do it all. We now uh, have a Traco excavator work is being done. Call Albin. 662-660-3355, or you can call Dean Mason, 256-668-5252. And also a big shout out to Explore Liquidations in Belmont, Mississippi, in the Belmont Industrial Park. And we're about ready to get back to action here on WRMG. There's Miss Melanie Corum checking in with us, and also Miss Sheila Fennel Helms checking us out on WRMG as well. We're starting the fourth quarter, Red Bay with the ball. Red Bay's gonna spread it out a little bit. Red Bay starting Mallory Miller, Macy Faulkner. You got Reagan Kirkendall, Lila Blackburn, and Markham. Kaylee Markham over here on the left side.
I guess you wanted to see the score right in the middle of that play, right? 34 to 15, it just kind of started riding up. I didn't even realize it. Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting, live in Sullivan, Alabama. Into Kirkendall, Kirkendall the shot up no good. Rebound loose for it, Kirkendall comes out of there with it, goes to Markham in the corner. Back to Lila Blackburn. Tigers being pretty patient, 6.45 to go, maybe going to milk a little clock, maybe take an easy shot like this one right here. Kirkendall for the layup, it's up and good. Got to make it Red Bay 36 to 15, 36 to 15. And that's going to be a five second violation. They couldn't get it in. No, everybody come off to this end of the court. No, they're not going to call it. They're going to get a timeout. Coach Northern and got a timeout. Miss Regina Sparks checking in with us. Reagan tonight has got 16 unofficial. Red Bay 36 and right now the ball club from Sullivan is only 15. I told you how young is Sullivan ball club. Uh, they've got, uh, I think I said they didn't have any seniors. Uh, that's well they don't because I was looking at the wrong one. They only have uh, eighth, ninth, and tenth graders. Uh, and they're playing, uh, I know Amaya Johnson is an eighth grader is playing some. And uh, so a lot of ninth graders and tenth graders out there and some eighth graders uh, on this team. Red Bay, if you're wondering, we got Destiny McAllister. She's a tenth grader. Macy Faulkner, a tenth grader. You got the two Hester girls, they're tenth graders. Kaylee Markham is a senior. Lila Blackburn is a sophomore. Mallory Miller, a senior. Reagan Kirkendall, a senior. So we got a pretty good nucleus of 10th graders coming back, but boy, we're going to miss Reagan Kirkendall. Going to miss um, Mallory Miller, Kaylee Markham, as they will move on. There's a Martha and Johnny Cleveland checking in with us. We got uh, Pedro, Mr. William Sanford, checking down in North Mississippi. Mr. Sanford, how you doing? It's Jack Ivey live down in Sullivan, Alabama. The Red Bay Tiger girls leading 36 to 15. We're on Facebook Live tonight. Big hello to Johnny Stockton. He's over in South Tilla tonight. William Sanford, he's, uh, I don't know where he may be down in Rebel Country down there, close to Hickory Flat. I'm not sure where. He's actually one of them old Cayuval Dragons up there in Cayuval. And now we got the ball out of bounds. It looks like we got a timeout. 5.48 to go in the game, Red Bay 36 to 15. 36 to 15, their score. We're gonna get us something to drink and uh, rest a half a second. Once again, thanks for being on the broadcast here tonight. This is the Red Bay Tiger Basketball Network. Also on a broadcast tonight is Kim Lindsay at So Cute For You. She does all your screen printing and monogramming. There's Miss Leah Tereski checking in with us. Imagine Coach Roberts and Miss Janet might be watching us on Facebook unless they're here live. I haven't, don't know if they're here or not. So Miss Leah, you make sure you tell Coach Roberts and Miss Janet how they can actually watch it in the comfort of their living room. Get that old iPad out, phone or something. Watch the game. Boys game coming up right after this one. Kirk and all will go to the line as another foul has been called against uh, Sullivan. Both teams have got 16 fouls. Reagan, of course, fouled in the act of shooting. She'll get two, makes the first one. This one is up good as well. And the Tigers get a steal. Lila Blackburn got it over in the corner. 
18 points unofficially for Reagan Kirkendall and the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers gonna spread it out a little bit with five minutes to go, leading 38 to 15. There's Faulkner with the basketball. Driving down and wide open is Miller on the pass from Kirkendall. 40 to 15 the score. Driving in the middle of the lane. Shot is up, it is good by number four. That'll make it 40 to 17. Number four getting that basket was Anna Sandlin. Red Bay Tiger boys and Sullivan boys, that should be a good game. You don't want to go nowhere, I'm telling you. Get you something to drink and some popcorn in between games, but make sure you're back here live and getting her 20th point of the ball game. Good feed in there is Reagan Kirkenall. Red Bay at Carbon Heights Thursday will not have the broadcast there, but we will be live for Red Bay and Belmont on Friday and Red Bay and Addison on Saturday. The both those games will be in Red Bay. And now the Tigers have got another steal. Markham trying to run it down and she is gonna be charged with a walk over there. Blackburn will check out of the ball game. Mackenzie Hester will check into the ball game. Madison was in earlier. 42 to 17 is the score. The Red Bay Tigers are on top. Three minutes and 46 seconds to go. There's Mr. Paul Huffman back with us. Drive it in, shot is up, no good. Tigers, Reagan Kirkenall with 20 points in the game, pushing it up the floor. Reagan down to Mallory Miller. Miller back out to Macy Faulkner with the three minute and 30 second mark. Matter of fact, 322 and counting right now. The Tigers have just turned that ball over. Tigers knock it out. Appreciate Chuck and Barbara and all the staff at Cash and Thermoplastics. Cassidy Kirkendall back into the ball game. Markham will check out. Also, uh, so cute for you, Kim Lindsay does all your screen printing and monogramming. And sells it inside the lane, covered up. She'll have to kick it back out a little bit. And the Red Bay Tigers now three minutes away from getting another win. Well, we lost to Tuffman the other night, didn't we, over at Hatton? Lost by one point in overtime. And looks like Sullivan is going to have an over and back, and the Tigers are going to get it. Do me a favor, if you have not shared this broadcast, do me a favor, do that right now. We need to improve this audience for that boys game. It's going to be a big one. You might have some friends out of town that might want to watch that one. That's your friends, and they might pick up on it and start watching. And the Tigers, another turnover. Good thing the game's not close as Kirkendall. Gets back to knock it out of bounds. Red Bay checking in. Sarah Williams, number 10, will check into the ball game. Good defense for the Tigers over here. And a timeout by Sullivan with 2.29 to go. It is going to be a full timeout. We'll show you some of the Tiger fans across the way. The score is Red Bay 42, Sullivan 17. Red Bay 42, Sullivan 17. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Today's game brought to you by Red Bay Gas and Water. Don't forget to call before you dig, 356-8622. Thank you, guys and ladies from the Red Bay Gas and Water. Also, Grace Long Real Estate on our broadcast at 423-5555 by CBNS Bank. Miss Mary Ellen Allen and the crew, they appreciate your business, 356-9547. 
Also H&R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton by Frank Will Electric, 356-4413. By Big Star of Red Bay, the city of Red Bay, mayor and the council. Also on our broadcast show today is Sunshine Mills, your hometown Piggly Wiggly in Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka. Home of great bargains every day, that great deli. And it's hard to beat that deli, I'm telling you. Piggly Wiggly, Red Bay, Belmont, you can also Runny Cook, your modern woman agent. You can call Runny, 662-423-8477. Runny Cook, modern woodman. Don't forget Mr. Allen Bossy and all the folks once again at Sunshine Mills on our broadcast. And if you haven't uh, said a little prayer recently for Mr. Johnny Weatherford, Johnny sponsors our ball games from Red Bay Rentals. Say a little prayer for Johnny. Hope uh, he'll continue to improve forty two to seventeen with two minutes and twenty seven seconds to go with the basketball to be Sullivan. Now we're gonna end up having another jump down below. Sullivan's still gonna have the basketball. Don't forget the boys game coming up right after this one. We'll have a few minute break. We'll have it for you. Driving in traffic, losing control of the basketball is Sullivan and they're gonna be a whistle on a blocking foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Cassidy Kirkendall is gonna be charged with that foul. They're gonna go to the line to shoot. One and one, both teams are not double bonus yet. Just a one and one. And the free throw is up. It is no good. Rebound, Red Bay Tigers have got it. And the Tigers work that ball right side to Hester. That was McKenzie over to Williams. Tigers also got number 12 into the game. That's uh, James. And Williams is wide open on the back door and got the shot. Good job, Williams. Williams, I promise you we'll have a better shot of you getting that basket on our TV broadcast and YouTube. Long shot, it's up. So with a minute and 25 seconds to go, we have got a timeout. A timeout on the court. Live coverage here from WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. After the Red Bay Tiger timeout. Mackenzie Hester with the basketball down to Cassidy Kirkendall. Cassidy drives in, puts it up no good. Going to be a jump. I believe that ball will go to the Tigers. Or are they going to call a foul? It's going to be a jump. Red Bay will get it. Red Bay's got Mackenzie Hester in there. Cassidy Kirkendall. Madison Hester into the ball game. 10, of course, Sarah Williams in there. There's a shot backside, no good. A put back again, it's no good. And the put back by James is up and good. Good job, James. Kylie James, a 10th grader for the Red Bay Tigers. Driving the baseline, shot up no good. Their 15 got it no good. 
This time Cassidy Kirkendall with a rebound for the Red Bay Tigers. We're down to 35 seconds to go. Red Bay 46 to 20 lead, 46 to 20. Williams to Kirkendall. Kirkendall lost it, and here comes Sullivan. James did a good job getting back defensively. They'll shoot one in the corner. It's up good, three-pointer. Number 10 got that one. That's Jayla Evans getting the basket. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of this game, they're available on DVD as the Tigers lose it. They'll shoot one at the buzzer, and there you'll see the final score. The Red Bay Tigers... 46 to 23 win, 46 to 23. We better write that down or we'll forget it. 46 to 23 is your final. 46 to 23 Red Bay girls win over the Sullivan Blue Devils. So appreciate uh, Miss Holly Kirkendall and Miss Kayla Northington. Both teams doing a good job right here. Red Bay once again coming out on top, 46 to 23. Ladies and gentlemen, here come the Red Bay Tigers out on the floor. They dim the lights here near when they do the. Do the introduction of the lineup. So a little bit later, they'll you know, go dark on us in here. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey Locke. 46-23 final, stay tuned. The boys is coming up a minute. Matter of fact, we'll let you watch them on Facebook Live warming up as we take a break. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, the score of the girls game final, 46-23 Red Bay win. Stay tuned, we got the boys coming up. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Number 12, Cole Core. Number 15, Gath Whitaker. Number 32, Brady Gray. Now, for your Sergeant Blue Devils, who is coached by Coach Donovan, Coach Ortiz, Coach Lowe, and Coach Evans. Here's your starters for the Blue Devils. No, number zero, C.J. McLemore. Number 13, Elijah Cochran. Number 14, Dylan Paul. Number 15, Jaquan Ali. And number 30, Dennis Porter. Well, there you have the starting lineups for both ball clubs. This is WRMG TV 12, TV 97, the Red Bay Tigers getting ready to take on a very good Sullivan ball club. And, you know, we beat this crew last year down here to get a chance to move on and ended up going down to um, Birmingham area Tarrant and uh, head on over to the regionals in Hansville, Alabama. Elijah Cockerham, Tanner Collins, Starting tonight, C.J. McLemore starting. Uh, Dennis Parker also starting. So Braden Ray will be jumping for the Red Bay Tigers. And the tip is controlled by the Red Bay Tigers. There in those uh, powder blues again tonight. And the Tigers almost lost that one. Noah Brewer. Drawing a start for the Red Bay Tigers tonight. And the Tigers over to Bays. Bays drives it in, tries to dish it off to Braden Ray. Now lost and picked up, and we got a whistle. They're going to be a jump. Error is going to be going to Sullivan. Allison not starting tonight. Brewer getting the start. Unless he's sick, you know, they'll, they're all going to play. It's, uh, you play on this Tiger squad, you're going to play and play a lot. He sends them in about five at a time. Sullivan with the basketball to the right side. I'm Jack Ivey live in Sullivan, and hope you enjoy the broadcast here today. 
on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Sullivan's at working the ball left side, moves it inside, a little fade away, but number 14 up and good. That's Dylan Paul getting the basket there for Sullivan. And now the Tigers way high pass from Hunter Bays and it's out of bounds and the Red Bay Tigers have turned it over. So the Tigers have had it a couple of times yet to score two nothing. Sullivan, we're live in Sullivan. Those powder blue uniforms are your Red Bay Tigers in the white, it's Sullivan. Paul with the basket working on. Mr. Weatherford, he gets it back over the corner. He'll shoot a long three, it's up, no good. Rebound out of bounds and it goes Sullivan. Miss Pat Lindsay out there checking in with us. Martin Moss, thank you, Bart. Uh, also, Tori Leary, Regina Boyd, Miss Fran Neighbors out there, Jordan McKinney, Chris Blackman, Danny Latham up in the south side of Chicago, listening and watching to it. Miss Danny, Dana Robinson out there, Mary Lou Saint, Amanda Ledbetter, Dana Carlton Wheeler out there tonight. Oh, Brad Bolton back with us. Uh, Miss Evelyn Williams back with us as well. 2 nothing, Sullivan. Sullivan working that ball to the right side a little bit. Number 15 is Jaquan Ali into the ball game. Lobbing that ball inside. Number 30 got it. He's in traffic in there. The shot is up no good. The Tigers with a rebound. We apologize. Our tablet kind of went haywire there. Up. And Braden Ray puts it up off the glass. No good. Tigers got it and put it back in. Getting the basket for the Tigers is Colton Corum. And the Tigers will tie this ball game up two to two. Driving down to the baseline, kicking it back out. Long shot at the top of the key up and no good. C.J. McLemore couldn't get it to fall and here come the Red Bay Tigers. Weatherford across the timeline being guarded closely there by Paul. Little dribble behind his back. Now he goes to Braden Ray. Ray goes around, zero, takes it up and lays it up good. Good move to the basket there by Braden Ray. Working on uh, zero there. And now Sullivan has turned it over. Zero is C.J. McLemore. Lane Louie out there saying go Red Bay Tigers. Miss Donna Thigpen out there checking in with us. Kelby Hallmark back with us. Do me a favor now, share that link. I know the other game was out of hand there pretty early as the Tigers get a quick basket. We've scored six points in a row after getting down two nothing. There's Colton Corum getting another basket for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Tigers lead six to two. McLemore with the basketball, working on Braden Ray. Turn, Braden blocked it. And the Tigers lose it, but uh, Bray, boy, got a nice block on that. They'll shoot a long three, it's up good. Knocking down that three was uh, number 14, Dylan Paul. That'll make it six to five. The Red Bay Tigers are on top. We're live on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Hope you enjoy our broadcast here. Hunter Bays with a basketball, back to Ray. Ray lobs that ball inside. Colton Corm working in there, puts it up, gets his uh, that uh, sixth point of the game, and we got a, a little violation on the inbounds, and Red Bay's gonna get it underneath their own basket. Miss Patricia Cole checking in with us out there. Hunter Bays will check out of the ball game for the Red Bay Tigers. Tanner Hamilton will check in. 4.20 to go. Red Bay leads eight to five, the score. Down to the baseline, Jalen Vinson has checked into the ball game and the shot up by Braden Ray is good. Good job of Braden Ray on the feed from Hamilton over there. We'll see if anybody else has checked in. Tanner Hamilton's out there, Gath Weatherford, Colton Corn, Braden Ray and Jalen Vinson out there for the Red Bay Tigers. We're on the end with the uh, Sullivan Blue Devils here. Red Bay on top by five, 10 to five. Gila Daughtry out there checking in with us. Make sure you're sharing this link. Long shot is up, no good. Rebound, Sullivan's got it. They'll work that ball to the corner, diving in, and the Tigers got a block, and the rebound finally controlled, but they said we're, it's gonna be Red Bay basketball. They're pointing in the Red Bay. Unless he pointed the wrong direction. Nope, Red Bay's gonna get the basketball. So Red Bay will have it. 
10 to five the score, 328, Graydon Ray loses control of it, it's stolen, and they're gonna go for layup, it's no good, guess who got the rebound, Braden Ray got it back. Red Bay Tigers pushing it up the floor. Colton Corm drives in, Colton shot no good, the put back by Gath Weatherford is up and good. Hey, Miss Martha and Johnny Cleveland back with us, 3.07 to go. Red Bay 12 to five lead with 3.02 to go. We're live in Sullivan, Alabama. On this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company, we're on radio, we're on TV, we're on internet, we're on Facebook Live tonight. We'll be on YouTube as well. Sullivan number 13 of the basketball, being guarded there by Gath Weatherford. Works that ball down to the corner. Now inside, the ball loose, stolen away by Corum, and they're gonna get him with a Whatever, a walk. It's gonna change possessions anyway. 13 is Elijah Cockerham for the ball club from Sullivan. 33 will check into the ball game. That's uh, Davin Avery checking in with us. Right side, Sullivan with a basketball number 13. We're down to 2.25 to go. Sullivan left side. McLemore taking it in, and we're going to have a holding foul against, I believe, going to get Jalen Vinson with that one. See if they're going to put up fouls this time. Doesn't look like it. Got our new scoreboard and won't put the fouls up. I don't understand. On the inbound, the shot is up good. Number 21, Tanner Collins got that one. Not only got a nice scoreboard, they got one, two, three, four, five of them in here. Driving, shot is up, no good, but Cor, the ball loose on the floor and it's gonna get out of bounds and guess what, Red Bay's still gonna have it. Aiden Hamilton in the ball game for the Tigers now. Thank you, Rayburn and Brandon Massey checking in with us. We got uh, Tanner Hamilton, Arden Hamilton, Colton Corum, Gath Weatherford and uh, Jalen Vincent into the ball game for the Tigers, and the Tigers inbound pass, stolen away. Number 13 got it. 13 goes to the layup, it's no good. We got a whistle and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Jalen Vincent is gonna be charged with that foul. A couple of quick fouls on Jalen here. 12 to seven, Red Bay on top. More and more folks getting online, that means maybe more of you are sharing this link with your friends out there. And the free throw is up by number 13. It's up and good. Elijah Cockerham, I'm uh, running the camera for the Facebook Live and doing the commercials and talking and all that stuff, so I really can't keep up with the points like I wanted to. So we're giving you an opportunity. Now, Gath Weatherford turns it over. Gath tried a little bounce pass going to Corum, and it was swiped away. 12 to 8 the score with a minute and 45 seconds to go. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Long shot is up, it is no good. Rebound, the putback is good by number 21, Tanner Collins. Red Bay facing full court pressure, only leads by two now, it's 12 to 10. Colton Corn to Weatherford. Weatherford shoots the long three, it's up, in and out, no good. Arden Hamilton with the basketball. Weatherford sees an opening to the basket, kicks off to Corum. Corum gets his eighth point of the ball game. And we have got a whistle and a foul in the backcourt. Is that what it is? And they're going to get uh, Jalen Vinson with another foul. Is that his third foul? Tigers going to bring in uh, Noah Brewer. Braden Ray back into the ball game and also Schubert into the ball game with 105 to go. 14 to 10 is the score. Taking the ball down low, shot is up on a nice little fake. Is number zero, CJ at McLemore. 14 to 12 the score. Tigers down to Schubert. Now Braden Ray, Ray down in the corner. Ray puts it up and it's good. 
We apologize, we lost our signal there just for a second. And uh, if it does, if we lose it for a second, that means you're gonna not get us for a minute. That's all I'm talking about on the video as far as the Facebook is concerned. And it hadn't happened all night till just now. 16 to 12 Red Bay with 15 seconds to go. Braden Ray got that last basket for the Red Bay Tigers. And the ball out of bounds is gonna go to the ball club from Sullivan. Eight seconds to go. Red Bay, Braden Ray thought about it. Now he'll shoot the three, it's up and no good. And with 1.6 seconds to go, Sullivan will have it. Sullivan gets that ball in, a long shot. There's your score. It is Red Bay 16 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. Thank you, Mr. Lynette James checking in and we apologize for the old internet. We ain't got any control over that. Of course, that doesn't affect our TV replay and our YouTube and your live audio that you're listening back. Once again on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Some really, really, really great sponsors that we'll tell you about right now, including Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford, Swamp Johns, Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Michael Stone at Stone's Handyman Service. Remodeling, siding, roofing, painting, and much, much more. Emergency calls 256-668-0224. Sometimes you can't get the big boys to do the small jobs. Guess what? That's his specialty. Stone's handyman service, Michael Stone. He's staying busy, but folks, he will get to you in a hurry. And if you got an emergency, call him after hours. I'll give you that number one more time. 256-668-0224. 16 to 12 is the score. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Seven minutes and 47 seconds to go. Noah Brewer driving down to the lane, kicks it back to Ray. Ray stops, cross court pass, Colton Corum. And there's the shot is up, it is no good. Rebound kicked out. Braden Ray back to the corner, the long shot up good. Good job of Hunter Bays to get that one. 19 to 12 is the score. Driving it to the basket and a Tiger foul is gonna go against Braden Ray. Seven minutes and 14 seconds to go, 19 to 12 is the score. 14 fouls against Red Bay, none against uh, Sullivan right now. Appreciate BJL Rod Welters, uh, Walters at BJ's Hair Cessities on a broadcast. And the free throw is good. That'll make it 19 to 14, Red Bay. If you're watching now, folks, I apologize. We're having internet issues uh, here. So uh, it's not anything on your end or anything you were doing. It's just the internet uh, is going crazy. And the Red Bay Tigers will have it underneath their basket after a foul by Sulge, 19 to 14, Red Bay. Red Bay on the end and Noah Brewer is wide open for the easy shot. Bringing that ball down, number 15 is Jaquan Ali. Left side, Jaquan's got it down to the corner. 14, trying to work a little bit, stops, dishes it off inside, now back to Ali. Number two over here on that left side is Tyreek Stevens. There's 15 with a shot, no good. The 30 put back, no good. And Red Bay's Braden Ray got the rebound. And the Red Bay Tigers with it. Folks, we don't have any control over the internet here. It was perfect there for uh, most of the night and it's kind of went crazy here in a little bit. So stay with us and if it clears up, it'll get better. If it don't, do me a favor, you can turn on 97.9 in Red Bay 
listen to it on the radio. And the Tigers, Hunter Bays is gonna lose that ball out of bounds. Twenty-one to fourteen with five fifty-eight to go. Red Bay Tigers are leading Sullivan. Number twenty-one on the baseline. Turn around off the glass. Good. Tanner Collins on that nice basket. And with 5.45 to go in the first half, it's right now 21-16. Thank you, Silver Dollar Grocery down in Golden. Another bad pass by the Tigers. Stolen away by Sullivan. And Sullivan shot off the glass is good, number 14. You can go to my Facebook page, and there is a link so you can listen to it live while we're having some issues on the video end. So, or you can go to 97.9 FM. 97.9 FM if you're in Red Bay. Red Bay down to Gath Weatherford. And Gath is going to be charged with an offensive foul. And of course the defender appeared to be moving, so Coach uh, John Tereski, he was moving, Mr. Riff. 21 to 18, the score, five minutes and 14 seconds to go. 21 to 18, Sullivan back in this thing, not that they were ever out, but uh, now they'll shoot a long three in the corner, it's up no good. Rebound, Braden Ray's got it. And the Tigers will bring it down. Brewer out in the corner, Colton Corum. Colton for the three, it's up no good. Gathweather for the rebound, back to Colton. He'll try another three and it's up good. Good job by Colton Corum. And it's now 21 to 18. Four thirty-eight to go, the Tigers lead 24 to 18. Kicking it out in the corner. Now back out to number 15, Jaquan Ollie. Ollie working on the Red Bay Tigers over there. And they lose it out of bounds. I'll tell you why you got it back there again. Go to 97.9 FM. You can go to WRMGRadio.com. Colton Corn with the basketball. Gath Weatherford on the left wing. Gath almost lost that ball, able to run it down. Corum open for another three. It's up, it's no good. Rebound tipped around. Braden Ray got it, put it up no good the first time. Put it up again, it's no good. This time it goes to the ball club from Sullivan, Alabama. Now the Tigers have got it back. Boy, a spill by the official over here. I don't know, did he hit the wall? Well, the official took a spill and a half. 27 Red Bay, 18. For the ball club from Sullivan. Red Bay Tiger basketball, the production of Ivy Broadcasting. Shot up no good. Gath Weatherford with a rebound. And here come the Red Bay Tigers with a basketball. Driving it in. Tanner Hamilton puts it up good. And the Red Bay Tigers will lead 28 to 19. Twenty-nine to eighteen of the Tigers steal. Tanner Hamilton lays it up good. Good body work with Tanner to, to charge on that one. Thirty-one to eighteen as the Tigers will see Sullivan on a timeout. Boy, the Tigers on a little run here the last couple of minutes. Leads thirty-one to eighteen over Sullivan with two minutes and eighteen seconds to go. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. 31 for the Red Bay Tigers, 18 for the Sullivan Blue Devils, 31 to 18. Oh, 
So the Tigers talking it over. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Alpha Insurance. Mr. John Cook. You can call John 356-4411 for life, home, auto annuities. He'll do you a wonderful job as always. Big shout out to Silver Dollar Grocery down in Golden by Consider the Lilies. Now don't forget at Consider the Lilies, if you tell them you heard their ad on the radio, guess what? 20% off your purchase. Once again, that is Consider the Lilies on our broadcast. 31 to 18 the score. Red Bay on top. Back to the top of the key now. Right side, it's Sullivan. McLemore over the corner. Now back out top of the key. Number 13 with that basketball is Elijah Cockerham. Now to zero. That's old C.J. McLemore. Sullivan basketball right here. And the Red Bay Tigers, they're hosting the Red Bay Tigers here in Sullivan at the Dome. We're down to a minute 35 to go. McLemore shoots the long three at short. Rebound, Tanner Hamilton's got it for the Red Bay Tigers. Colton Corm back to Hamilton. Tanner seed a little opening, stop, goes down to Gath Weatherford, or rather Schubert, and Schubert over to Arden Hamilton. Arden on the baseline puts it up good. Red Bay 33 to 18. Good job, Arden Hamilton, on that one. Now the Tigers have got it back. Brewer down to Coram. Coram drives in, puts it up no good. Arden Hamilton with a putback no good. And the rebound goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Schubert and Coram, Arden Hamilton, Tanner Hamilton, and Noah Brewer into the ball game for the Tigers. We're down to 46 seconds to go. Red Bay 33 to 18. Tanner Hamilton with the basketball out top with 34 seconds to go. Driving in is Schubert. Schubert dishes off and they're gonna get Schubert with an offensive foul. Appreciate Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse along with Stadium Pros. Also on a broadcast today is Bonnie Gray at Davis Realty Associates by Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education by the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. The Cardinal Drive-In by Community Spirit Bank. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, along with the Red Bay Hospital. Also, big shout out to Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent. We're down to 19 seconds to go. Red Bay 33 to 18 lead. They take it inside, shot blocked by the Tigers, but a foul by the Tigers. And they're gonna send big number 21, Tanner Collins, to the line. Today's game also brought to you by Dickey Sparks CPA along with the uh, folks at the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Serving the area now in their fourth generation of service by Triple D's Bucket Service on our broadcast here today. Also out there is Mike Engel at Engel Farms on our broadcast. Tigers will get it, uh, I thought, yeah, they will. So we've got a timeout with nine seconds to go. Nine seconds to go. It's the Red Bay Tigers leading 33 to 19. With nine seconds to go, the Tigers setting up a, a last play here. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Today's game brought to you by also Tiffin Motorhomes. Also Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer for three generations, 356-8913 by Red Bay Pharmacy building Donna Weatherford. And also Mr. Jackson Witt. Your Edward Jones agent is Mike Jones by Tiffin Supply Tiffin Appliance Company by Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning. That's Chris and Valerie Moore, your authorized Freightliner and RV dealer. Also, Redmont Heating and Cooling with uh, Patrick Brooks on our broadcast here today. Red Bay 33 to 19, a little running shot by Hamilton, no good. Sullivan will shoot a three-pointer at the buzzer. It will not go. And right now the score is 33 to 19. 
Red Bay Tigers 33, Sullivan 19. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company's coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball. Once again, your Red Bay Tigers lead over Sullivan 33 to 19. Once again, thank you, Chris and Valerie Moore at Bay Diesel. Also, big shout out today to Med Express of Red Bay, Kayla Humphreys, Banner Tire Store. Oh, uh, Jason Parker, the staff there, New and News Tires, also Duck Commander, and many, many other brands. Also, big shout out today to uh, Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff. Also on our broadcast today is Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser. That number there in Red Bay to get Miss Brenda, 356-4804. So if whether you need to insure a vehicle, your home, your motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farm, business, they got a policy tailored just for you at Tri-State. Also, big shout out to Mr. Eddie Deaton, Clay and Ted Weatherford, all the folks at Predator Pest Control. Folks, you got bugs and ants and all that stuff that uh, likes to come into your house unwanted? Well, guess what? They can get them out. Call Eddie Deaton, 662-315-2841. Also, Albin Mason Construction Company on our broadcast here tonight. You can call Albin, 662-660-3355. New homes, remodels, roofing, additions, and don't forget they got that new uh, Traco excavator work. Uh, call Albin, 662-660-3355. And also big shout out to Explore Liquidations on our broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Folks, uh, you folks that might be listening online, uh, we had a we got a little issue with the internet down here. And uh, keep in mind, uh, you can always listen to it live on 97.9 FM. Uh, you can also listen to it live on uh, WRMGRadio.com. We got a link on my Facebook where you can just click a button and listen to it live. So uh, won't you check that out, and we'll check in the second half and pray that that internet gets better. And if it does, we'll uh, try to send you some more Facebook Live. The girls' game went smooth as a lark, and I guess second quarter of the boys' game, our internet, I don't know where everybody in here is using up all the data or what. Everybody I look at has got a phone, so you know they're using up data. So uh, right now we're at halftime, 33 Red Bay, 19 for Sullivan, 33 to 19. I'm thinking Sullivan gets the ball to start the second half. But right now, Red Bay on top, 33 to 19. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Back live on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. 33 to 19 is the score at halftime. And we're about ready to start the third quarter. Jack Ivey here, we got Denisa back at Control Center. Of course, uh, we had some issues there in the second quarter big time with our internet service uh, as far as our Facebook Live. And I don't know how long we can do that in the third quarter. We may just call it quits if it starts acting up. But uh, we had all the girls game with no problems. And really, I guess the, the first quarter of the boys game, okay. Long shot by Sullivan. And the Tigers get a rebound. Hunter Bay is into the ball game. Weatherford, you got uh, Noah Brewer. You got uh, Corm, and you got uh, a foul there. You got uh, Corm in the corner there, and you got Braden Ray. That's who's out there on the floor for the Tigers. Thirty-three to nineteen, the score. Red Bay with the basketball. Weatherford thought about a three. A little dribble behind his back. A little spin move, fade away. It's up good. What a move by Gath Weatherford. Only guy I know that could make a move like that is his dad, Bill. Long shot in the side. It's up good. Number thirty on a fade away there. Tigers pushing it up with Noah Brewer. Back out to Weatherford, top of the key now, right side. Now Brewer driving it down the lane, dishing it off. Braden Ray, Ray puts it up good. 35 to 21. We're trying to get this uh, Facebook broadcast here. If the internet will uh, participate, you folks watching online, if it goes out, you'll know we're having terrible issues. But if you'll go to 97.9 FM or go to my Facebook page, there's a link where you can go to wrmgradio.com and just listen to it. That might be easier if it starts messing up again. So 
we may just scrap the idea the rest of the night if it starts messing up, but right now it's okay. Long shot in the corner, Selagit, it's up and no good. Selagit with a rebound, they take it inside, big man number 21, Tanner Collins got the basket. So the Tigers will have the basketball, Braden Ray over to Brewer, down in the corner, Weatherford shoots the long three, it's up, it's no good. Tipped out of there, running the ball down to the Red Bay Tigers, end up with it, Gath Weatherford. Weatherford down to Colton Corum, and Colton's got it, and the basket's good. Here come the Sullivan of Blue Devils with us, and the Tigers knock it out of bounds. Tiger fans are wanting to be blue ball, but the official said no. So Sullivan will have it on their end of the floor, trailing 39 to 23. Red Bay Tigers are on top. We apologize once again to you Facebook uh, guys. Uh, and ladies out there, the internet just kind of went to flump here in uh, Sullivan. As you know, it goes to flump everywhere most of the time if you're dealing with AT&T. We're going to have a blocking foul against the Tigers. That basket's going to count. While we've got a good signal, remember, if, uh, if we lose it, the last time I'm going to tell you, go to WRMGradio.com, and you can listen to it live or 97.9 FM. Free throw, no good. And I do have the link on my Facebook page for you to do that. Shot up no good by Brewer. Red Bay leads 39 to 25 with 5.42 to go and the Tigers knock it out of bounds. Those are Tiger fans you see across the way over there that made the trip down here. Honored to have you on our broadcast here tonight. Don't forget you can watch it later tonight on Channel 12. And by the time you get up in the morning, it'll be on YouTube. Tigers almost got a steal. Now they're going to end up tying it up. Now they're going to get a reach-in foul against player number two for Red Bay. Gath appeared to have it tied up. Let's see who they're going to call a foul on. It's going to be Sullivan basketball, and I think they may have given it to Hunter Bays. 39 to 25 with 5.24 to go. Sullinger with the ball out top. Now to the left side, number 13, that's Cockerham. Cockerham's got it, tried to go inside. Tiger's got a steal, but he was standing on the line. Hunter Bay's got a steal, but his foot was on the line. Good call by the official. So Sullivan will take it in. Red Bay leads 39 to 25, 39 to 25. There's Brother Mitch Nether Nethery checking in with us. Brother Mitch, hope everything's going good down in Lion Country, down in Haleville, Alabama. And the shot up uh, three years up and good. That'll make it 39 to 28. Red Bay on top. Good shot there by Dylan Paul for the ball club from Sullivan. We got four minutes and 41 seconds to go. Gath Weatherford kicks it out to Brewer. Brewer shoots the long three. It's nothing but the bottom of the net. Red Bay, 42 to 28, 42 28 Red Bay. Four minutes and 27 seconds to go. After the big three by Brewer, the Tigers are up 42 28. And the Tigers got a steal. Brewer's got it. Brewer going to take it coast to coast. It's going to be defended. He puts it up. No good. Rebound. Tigers. Hunter Bay has got it. Now, Braden Ray shoots the three. It's no good. Rebound tipped out. Sullivan got it. And now the ball almost stolen away by the Tigers. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to Red Bay. Madison Wicker out there. Miss Jordan McKinney and Told you about Brother Mitch, Miss Regina Boyd out there, Miss Valerie Moore, Paul Huffman, Andy Deaton, Johnny Stockton, Tracy Gordon, all you folks checking us out or trying to watch us here on Facebook with hardly any internet. I started not to do it because I thought, well, there's not going to be enough internet. And when I tried it for a little bit on the JV game, it seemed to work fine. But uh, so I decided to go in and do it. And I guess that was a mistake. But you've enjoyed a lot of it anyway especially the girls game. Girls had a big win tonight. 
Good basket there by the Tigers to go up 44 to 28, 44 to 28. Forty-four twenty-eight. Sullivan with a basketball. Brother Mitch, uh, we down in your old neck of the woods. I'll read Brother Mitch's statement here. Watching Haleville and Curry while watching Red Bay and Sullivan. It doesn't get much better than that. Colton Corn with a rebound, and here come the Red Bay Tigers pushing it up the floor. Out in the corner, the long three-point shot. It's up and no good. But Braden Ray, Noah Brewer got the rebound. Colton Corm in the corner. Colton's three-pointer no good. And uh, they're going to get the Tigers, I believe, Arden Hamilton for pushing off. <laughs> Jalen Vinson will check into the ball game. I believe uh, Kelby Hallmark's back out there. Colton Corum will check out. Sullivan will bring it down. Mitch, we've had internet issues here in the second quarter of the game and here a little bit in the third quarter, but uh, hopefully that's behind us. I doubt it, but hopefully it is. Driving in, shot up, a little running shot, no good. Missed in there, and the Tigers got a rebound. Good try there by number 13, Cockerham. And driving it in, is the Tigers, and a shot is blocked, and Tigers going to have it underneath their own basket. We're down to 2.30 to go. Red Bay 44 to 28, 44 28. Tigers going to go to the line. Braden Ray will be shooting. Tiger fans going crazy over there for some reason. He called the foul and we're shooting free throws. Tiger's gonna make a substitute. Hunter Bay is checking back into the ball game and Noah Brewer will check out. Weatherford is gonna check in but he's checking in for Ray and the free throw good. Weatherford will check in. Braden will take a break. Appreciate the folks out at Red Bay Pharmacy. Bill and Donald Weatherford and old Jackson Witt and all the staff through there. Boy, they do a wonderful job. Got the digital kiosk photo maker. Bill and Donna Jackson's always looking out for you. Trying to save you some money. Trying to get you all the information you need to know about the drugs that you're taking. Maybe try to find you... Uh, a way to save you some money. They do a wonderful job at Red Bay Pharmacy and Belmont Pharmacy. Madison Wicker says, go Tigers. Miss Mary Lou Saint watching back with us. A uh, big shout out today to Kim Lindsay. It's so cute for you. Red Bay 45 to 28, driving in. The shot is up. It's good, a basket and a foul against the Tigers. They're gonna get, I believe, Arden Hamilton with that and number 22 for the Tigers. Arden said, I didn't touch it. I did a game the other night between Belmont and New Site. Of course, I'm sitting on the visitor side, so I'm hearing New Site folks better than Belmont. And I know all teams are, I guess, about alike when they never like anything the officials, but it didn't matter what to call. There was uh, two or three of them just all over the officials. 45 to 30 is the score. Red Bay Tigers with a basketball in the lead. Tanner Hamilton down to the corner to Arden. Arden slides, a little reverse up and no good. Backside rebound, Gath Weatherford got it. Now to Vincent, back to Gath. Gath drives, he sees an opening, takes it in, lays it up good, great move to the basket. Number 15, Gath Weatherford making it 47 to 30. Red Bay Tigers 47-30 after the Gath Weatherford basket. Gath gets a big rebound after the missed shot. Hunter Bays bringing that ball down for the Tigers. Thank you, Miss Evelyn Williams, for being back. Miss Evelyn, you know we'll have you a lot better looking broadcast when we replay it on ch Channel 12 tonight, but you might have to stay up late. It's gonna be late when we get in, but we'll put it on late tonight for you. It'll be on YouTube by the time you get up in the morning. 47 Red Bay, 30 for Sullivan with 108 to go. 
Arden Hamilton better get out of the lane. Tigers almost turned that ball over. Tanner Hamilton got it. Now he kicks it, but he's foul. Deandra and Jeremy Robinson checking us out on Facebook Live. Big number 21, Tanner Collins will check into the ball game. Number three, Marco Maston will check out. New coach, Jared Donovan for Solidget. Coach uh, Chisholm is now the principal here. Coach Chisholm will do a great job. Lob pass into Arden Hamilton. Arden holds off the defender by faking. Got him up in the air, and guess what? Made the basket, and that should be an offensive foul going the other way. Good job, Tanner Hamilton taking the charge for the Red Bay Tigers. So good job. Tigers take the charge. We'll get the basketball back, leading by 19 points, 49 to 30. And now we got a full timeout by the Seligit Blue Devils. So Seligit calls a timeout. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, honored to have you here tonight. And tonight's game, of course, brought to you by Cash and Thermal Plastics. Thank you, Miss Chuck and Miss Barbara, by Big Star, the City of Red Bay, by Franklin Electric. H&R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton by CBNS Bank. Grace Long Real Estate. Don't forget the Red Bay Gas and Water Department. Reminds you to call before you dig. 356-8622 by Sunshine Mills. Makers of that great cat food and dog food by your hometown Piggly Wiggly. And by Runny Cook, your modern woman agent. You know, modern woman offers financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and families just like yours. Serving your community, call Runny Cook, 662-423-8477. Start that conversation today. He'd love to come sit down with you, or you can come to his office. Modern Woodman of America on the web at modern-woodman-.org. And um, they've been around since 1883, so you know they've been doing something right. Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. Um, don't forget, he can tell you how you can get a free month of rent. You give them a call, 256-668-039. Remember, the locks are always on us. Red Bay Tigers wide open down the court, and Arden Hamilton takes that pass from Gath Weatherford, and the Tigers get a snowbird on the other end. You know what a snowbird is, don't you? 51 to 30. They got different names for baskets now than they used to. Driving it in, good, good move to the basket there. Couldn't finish because of the foul. But a good job, good try there by Dylan Paul for the Sullivan Blue Devils. They'll go to the line to shoot. Good Lord willing, we'll have it on Facebook Live for you Friday night. And again on Saturday, Red Bay and Belmont on Friday. And we'll have it on Saturday with Addison. Well, that should have a good, good internet there in Red Bay. 51 to 31. Free throw is no good. Tigers quickly up the floor. Tigers into Arden Hamilton. Arden in the lane, puts it up good. Red Bay 53 to 31 with a one second to go. So we have played uh, three quarters. It's 53 to 31, 53 to 31, the Red Bay Tigers. Hey, today's game brought to you by Michael Stone at Stone's Handyman Services. Remodeling, siding, roofing, painting, and much more. Emergency calls are available, so he's there for you whenever you get in one of them tights. 256-668-0224. You ought to write that number down. 256-668-0224. And also, uh, that is Michael Stone. Does remodeling, siding, uh, roofing, painting, and much more. Also want to thank BJL Rod Walters at BJ uh, Hair Sessity, BJL Rod Walters. Been in business now for seven years. She's got 28 plus years of experience. Got a big 25% off on hair care products right now. Check her out once again down on Highway 23 on the left. Just across the state line on the left, call for an appointment, 662-676-4445. Walk-ins are welcome. When available and appointments are very much appreciated. Call BJ today at BJ's. Also, Alpha Insurance of Red Bay, John Cook, 356-4411.
by Silver Dollar Grocery, your discount grocery headquarters. Down in Golden, Rick Sparks has got a location in Golden, Mantach and Tupelo, 454-3642. And also, big shout out to Consider the Lilies, Ange and Ted LeMay, your gift headquarters, flower headquarters. And if you'll tell them you heard about it on WRMG, remember this, you ladies, if you need something from Consider the Lilies, all you do is tell them you heard about it on WRMG and you'll get 20% off. Whatever the price is, you'll get 20% off. But you got to tell them. Red Bay Tigers and uh, Braden Ray. And Braden, a bad pass there, stolen away. Tigers. Turning that ball over. A little bit too much and a three-pointer on the corner over here right down below us. That's old Davin Avery. Good job there, Davin. 53 to 34, the Red Bay Tigers facing a little full court pressure. Ray. All the way down to Schubert. Schubert puts it up good. And the Red Bay Tigers, Colton Corm's got a steal. Colton and went to Brewer. Pass was too far out in front of him, but Colton, uh, or rather Brewer, was able to save that ball back in. Now three-point play by Hunter Bays. Good job, Hunter. The Tigers are up 58 to 34, big 24-point lead. Baseline jumper, good. Yeah. By Sullivan, number 14, Dylan Paul got that one. Once again, it's 58-36. Tigers down low. Schubert, Schubert's fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. We're down to 624 to go in the game. 624 to go in the game. Jack Ivey, Jack Ivey Jr. live here. You folks that uh, couldn't make it down for the game tonight, uh, hope you've enjoyed listening to it on WRMGRadio.com. Also, 97.9 FM. And the free throw up by Schubert is up good. 60 to 36. Lobbing it in to the big man. He puts it up off the glass. Good. Good job there by number 21, Tanner Collins. Tanner's about 6'5 himself. That's the reason I call him the big man. He is big. Oh, Schubert there's 6'5 out there. Colton Corm shoots the long three. In and out, no good. And here come the Blue Devils with the basketball, trailing 60 to 38, a big 22 point lead. And the Tigers got a steal, Brewer's got it. Colton Corm trying to fill the lane, but Brewer just drives it on the end, puts it up good. He had the advantage, good job by. And now they beat us back, but missed the layup. Schubert got a rebound down to Corm. And Corm says, hey, Jack Ivey, I don't have the advantage. I'm gonna wait on the rest of the crew. Tigers out in the corner, Braden Ray, Hunter Bays, Lane Schubert out there, Colton Corum, and Mr. Noah Brewer. 62 to 38. Tigers, Braden Ray, the long three, it's up good, three pointer. 65 to 38, Red Bay Tigers with 458. Tigers only one loss of the season. That was to Decatur Heritage to start the season. Since then, the Tigers not blemished. And yeah, there's a big shot inside by Sulgit. That'll make it 65-38. You may have missed it on Facebook. Oh, Braden Ray knocking down a three down there. But you won't miss it on the TV12 replay or your DVD or, or your YouTube, broad, YouTube broadcast. Boy, what a Colton Corm. He's had a great night, didn't he? I quit keeping score a long time ago and trying to mess with your Facebook live broadcast. Just too much to keep up with. 67 to 40, I can assure you the Tigers have had a good night. Leading 67 to 40, Ray will check out, Bays will check out, Corm will check out. You got Brewer, Arden Hamilton, Tanner Hamilton, Lane Schubert out there, and Jalen Vincent. Miss Beverly Thorne out there checking in with us. Lynette Horton checking in. And the Tigers have got another steal. Noah Brewer's got it. Brewer trying to run it down, does in the corner. Kicks it back out. 
Arden Hamilton. He'll back it up a little bit at the 4.06 mark. Red Bay 67 to 40. Don't forget Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry and also Chris and Valerie Mark. Your authorized Freightliner and RV dealer. Thank you, Miss Valerie. You and the great folks out there. Big shout out to Community Spirit Bank on our broadcast here tonight. Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, Deaton Funeral Home, Red Bay and Belmont Pharmacy. Also, McKinney RV on our broadcast. So we got a whistle and a foul against Sullivan. Old Fair and McKinney and the staff are across the way. I see them right here. Don't forget to consider the lilies. If you tell them you heard this ad on WRMG, get 20% off. Schubert will go to the line. It's 67 to 40. And the free throw good by Lane Schubert. Thank you, Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. Lori and Brent Collum at 4th Street Grill. Keith Kennedy and Alton Barksdale at Stadium Pros by Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. And also Dr. Fabianc and all the staff at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay 356 9511. Family medicine, sports medicine, and geriatric. Once again, Dr. Fabianc. And also a big shout out tonight to all the folks at the Cardinal Drive In on our broadcast. Always an honor for all these great sponsors who make these games possible. Red Bay, by the way, leads 69 to 40 after the Schubert free throws. Driving, kicking that ball out in the corner. The shot is up, it's no good. And the rebound lost, and Sullivan's going to have another opportunity, and the Red Bay Tigers are going to commit a foul. Clock down to 3.02 to go. We'll get out of here in a hurry tonight so we can get back and let you watch it on Channel 12 and 97. We'll have a crew down in Iuka, Tishomingo County, as they play Bahia Friday night. Red Bay and Belmont will be playing in Red Bay. Red Bay Allison not playing tonight. He must be sick. Coach, it didn't say anything about it, but. <laughs> Grant Hastings and Kicks Patterson checking in with us. Guys, we've had some internet issues here in the second half of this boys game. We're actually, the second quarter was the worst, but uh, you know how it is if you hadn't got the internet. Miss Sherry Shook out there. Young faces into the ball game for the Sullivan Blue Devils. Red Bay leads 69 to 41. 35 is Isaiah Atkinson's in and the Tigers. Arden Hamilton goes, he stops on a dime and fakes and puts it up good. Good job Arden. 71 to 41, Red Bay Tigers, a 30 point lead here in Sullivan. We're down to two minutes and 23 seconds to go, all Red Bay, 71 to 41. Taking it down low, number two puts it up good. That's Tyreek Stevens. Red Bay 7-1, Sullivan 43. Red Bay girls win tonight. Forty-six to twenty-three. Forty-six to twenty-three. So Red Bay with the free throws there makes it 74 to 43. 13, a three point shot up and no good. Red Bay with the rebound. Good try there. By number 13, Elijah Cockerham. We're down to a minute and 12 seconds to go. Tanner Hamilton to the corner. That's Arden Hamilton. Back out to Jalen Vincent.
Tigers have spread it out with 52 seconds to go. Hamilton drives down, kicks it out to Schubert in the corner. Folks, we're going to get out of here pretty quick. 43 seconds to go. You folks that have been patient on uh, our radio broadcast, internet, and all that stuff has been perfect. YouTube, our TV 12 broadcast. Keep in mind, we use some different stuff for our Facebook. You're uploading, and you got to have internet speed and a lot of it. Shot is up good, 15 seconds to go. The Red Bay Tigers are gonna win this thing. Right now they lead 74-45. And I don't think they're gonna shoot again. They're not. Red Bay wins it 74 to 45. Once again, your final score. Red Bay girls win 46-23. The Red Bay boys win 74 to 45. Thank you for joining us here tonight for Red Bay Tiger basketball for Denise Baker Control Center. I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you so much for joining us. Thanks to all of our great sponsors. Don't forget, uh, if you want to watch it in its entirety, it'll be on Channel 12 several times in the next few days, including late tonight. And it'll be on YouTube. You can watch it video on demand there. So for the entire staff and management of WRMG TV 12 and TV 97, I'm Jack Ivey saying good night for Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivey Broadcasting Company.